Hi everyone, so it's true, I've switched to an Android. Just kidding. <laughs> The title is true. Today we're going to be doing a Pixel unboxing. No, this is not a drill. And no, this is not a weird April Fool's joke in August. We are actually doing this. The Google Pixels have just come out. My boyfriend loves the Pixel. He is upgrading and actually had a Pixel 3, pray for him, and is going to the Pixel 9. He was so kind to let me unbox it today and I'm so excited. The Google Pixels, honestly, Honestly, I've been sleeping on. They eat and I can just feel all the Android people watching this and being like, what is this dummy doing <laughs> reviewing this? Welcome to my channel. I do trash unboxings. However, I've done so many iPhone unboxings that I've become a pro. So I had to start with something again that I have no idea what I'm talking about. So if you're here for specs and good information, go watch, you know, a real tech YouTuber. I'm here to give my first impressions of the Google Pixel and I think it's gonna be beautiful. Let's get into it. This is the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and this is in the obsidian color. This is 512 gigabytes. Google has really stepped it up this year with their pixels. They've totally redesigned the way that the camera looks and everything is giving iPhone. Here's a look at the box. So as you can see, it's got this design on the front and it's actually a sleeves so the side says Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. Super long name. Here's the back. It's just got all the tech specs on the bottom. I guess you pull these off to get the sleeve off so let's do that. It looks like the box is made of like this recycled, almost like cardboard material, if you guys can see that. So I guess they're being sustainable. I don't freaking know. Let's open it. By the way, I do want to say today was like the launch of the pumpkin spice latte. So honestly, I'm giving Google some points for that. We are really kicking off unboxing season on a very strong start. <laughs> okay, this is not as satisfying as the iPhone box, I'll be honest. All right, so here's the box. It's got this cute little like drawing outline design of the phone, which I actually think is really cute. Again, there's the sides and then here is the back. I guess we will lift it just like how we always do. Ooh, look at it. This is so cute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the phone looks rich. <laughs> the black is hitting for sure and it's kind of like already giving me black iPhone vibes. Let's take it out. Okay, so we got the phone and then we've got the charger in here, which is just a USB-C cable. Do we get anything else? No, <laughs> that's it. The phone has this little film over it. And as you can see, it's got like a little fingerprint design on it and also like showing, what even is this? You know, I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm just gonna stop. It's got all these symbols. I'm assuming that it's showing you where those things are. All right. Here's the back, absolutely gorgeous. The black is hitting. And then the sides are super shiny. They're like this polished, I'm assuming titanium because the phone is pretty light, but that is freaking gorgeous. There's the bottom and then here's the sides. I'm not gonna lie, these polished edges are doing it for me. And as you can see, even like the camera bump is polished as well. Wow, this is gorgeous. And then here's the front. The front is so reflective, it's actually insane. I'm assuming this is the on button, so let's turn it on. I just wanna give a disclaimer, I've literally never used a Pixel in my life in the sense that like I've never owned one, so I'm not very familiar, so please do not make fun of me. It seems to be loading. Welcome to your Pixel. The screen is absolutely hitting. It's so clear and bright looking. So let's go ahead and get started. Set up using another device, or you could skip this. I don't have the other phone with me. I think I'm just gonna skip and set it up as a new phone and I'm sure it'll be fine because that's what I do with my iPhone. Did I mention I have an iPhone? <laughs> now it's asking to connect to Wi-Fi, so we're gonna do that. By the way, I don't have a case for this phone, so the whole time we're gonna be going caseless. The case that we got for this is actually the Hazel Google silicone case, so that is coming in a few days. So we're just gonna have to be really careful with this and hope for the best. 
it's setting up. First impression so far, the phone feels really nice in my hand. It has like a good weight, but it doesn't feel heavy either. It feels very similar to my iPhone 15 Pro Max, like just weight wise. Set up your Verizon eSIM. We're gonna do that later too, cause I don't wanna mess with his service at all right now. So we're gonna skip. So we're just gonna get into the phone and not activate anything yet. And we'll do that part later. Now it's asking to set up a pin. So I'm gonna do that. And then a fingerprint lock, which this is really cool. This actually has like a fingerprint scanner in it, which is awesome. I wish that the iPhones had this. By the way, this video is gonna be like very comparing to iPhones because that made no sense. Like that was not proper grammar, but this video is going to be comparing a lot to the iPhone because I do have an Apple channel so yeah it also has face ID which is awesome again we're not gonna do that yet either now it's telling us about the Google services and agreeing it also has the satellite SOS feature which is awesome if you don't have service you can connect to a satellite to send a text message it's coming to select countries and you'll be notified when the service is available to you now it's telling us all of the apps that it's going to download onto the phone I'm just gonna do all of them the animations are really cute so now it's just telling us all about the gestures and how to use the phone. I kind of love the little tutorial that they give you, so it's telling us how to get to the home screen. Switching apps, amazing. And now we are all set, we can get into the phone. And we are in. So here is what the home screen looks like by default. And honestly guys, it's really crispy. The bezels are really tiny and the phone screen itself is super bright. The pixel is actually brighter than the iPhone, which is crazy. I don't even know if it's at full brightness right now, but it looks gorgeous so let's just admire this for a second and again like the sides of the phone are so sleek the phone is really thin just on its own and i just love the way that they did the camera bump i feel like this is so much better than the iphone it's just so organized and sleek looking compared to my iphone i just feel like this is so much more flattering for the camera than this this looks like some kind of electric shaver and this looks like a phone <laughs> and it just looks really futuristic also Here's what the lock screen looks like. It's telling me to set up my SIM because I haven't done that. Let's go in and let's play around with the phone. So I'm gonna actually flip the camera around because I think that would be fun to like look at the phone now in detail. And let's just play around with it. This will be like literally my first time ever using a pixel like this. So it will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a closer look of the phone and as you can see the screen is absolutely hitting. I want to see if it's at full brightness um, Okay, let's see display brightness level. So I'm gonna turn off the adaptive brightness because I just want to see how bright it gets yeah, that is insane. I don't even think you could tell through the camera. Maybe you can, but this is so bright. I'm gonna compare it to my phone so you guys can see the difference. Let's go on like the browser right now. Hold on. So here's the two phones next to each other. Firstly, you could see the difference in size slightly. The Pixel is actually a little bit bigger than my 15 Pro Max. And I'm not sure if you could tell on camera, but the screen is definitely way brighter. To me, it honestly honestly looks better. I feel like the color tone is more accurate and it's not as muted. Like if I go and open the same image, can you guys tell a difference? Let me know in the comments. There's that. Here's what the home screen looks like in general. And as you can see, this is, I guess, their default setup. Here's all of the apps that we've got installed. Just for fun, I want to look around and kind of give you guys like my first impressions on some of their apps. So let's look at the weather. Here's what their weather app looks like. Here's what the weather apps look like compared to each other. Very interesting. The Apple weather app is one of my favorite apps by them, but the Google one looks good too. I'm trying to use the their notes app but it's asking me to sign in so I feel like for a lot of these things you just have to actually be logged into your Google account we've got messages that's what that looks like. Let's check out the camera. Here's what their camera looks like. Another thing that the Google Pixel advertises is the add me feature. So you can actually add yourself to a photo if you have no one else to take the picture. On my phone, I like to set the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. It's just better for vertical video. Let's do a little bit of a camera test. 
For this example, I'm gonna take a picture of these fall things. And notice how it already tells you if it's level or not. On the iPhone, you have to turn on that setting if you want the level, but by default, the pixel does that automatically. You've also got double zoom, and you've also got the five times zoom. I'm gonna put these pictures on the video so you guys can see what they look like. Obviously, keep in mind the video is processed over YouTube, but honestly, I think they look really good. I feel like the iPhone kind of like over processes the photos that you take, but these pixel ones look nice and soft, but also still like bright and detailed. So that was my unboxing of the Pixel 9 Pro XL. I'm honestly really impressed. The screen for me is one of the most important parts of phones these days because you're staring at the screen the whole time. And the screen goes off. Also, the camera is really good, which I know like a lot of memes are saying like, oh, the Android quality camera, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't apply to this phone. This camera eats. The design, you cannot even argue, is like unmatched. This is one of the prettiest smartphones that we have these days, I feel like. Obviously, I'm not like a professional when it comes to pixels. This is an iPhone channel, so I could be missing some key information. I probably am. But this was really just to like unbox the phone and kind of give like my first impressions and just show you guys like how it looks in person and give it a little bit of like a review. Are any of you planning on getting this phone or did you get this phone? What do you think about it? I do also wanna add, Google gave us a pink pro phone and that is something that Apple refuses to do. So honestly, shots have been fired. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I will 100% be doing the iPhone 16 Pro Max unboxing very soon, but I did wanna highlight the Pixel cause I just thought that would be so much fun and this phone is just so awesome and I feel like it deserves some of the spotlight. By the way, if you guys want wallpapers and digital downloads, I do have a website, sagile.com. Go check it out. I just made this pumpkin cold brew wallpaper that is so freaking cute in celebration of the pumpkin spice lattes returning. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.